Today we're going to talk about antennas. Everybody's always asking us which antenna to use on their race vehicle or their truck or anything else. Very important you use the right antenna. Using the wrong antenna will destroy the range that you have with your radio. Some people think, oh, I'll just put a bigger radio, more, more horsepower, you know, more wattage. But going from like a 50 watt radio to a 110 watt radio, not as much of a difference as you would think. It's nowhere near double. What will give you the distance is the correct and properly tuned antenna. Okay, so on the, our uh, Can-Am Maverick X3 sitting here, that we use this for pre-running in that, we have a ground plane antenna, which is known, I guess, by a lot of people as a standard antenna. Okay, now, don't go by the look of this antenna thinking it's a ground plane because it's got the rubber spring. It could look silver, it could have a regular spring, it, that means nothing. It's the part number that really matters. They look almost identical. So the ground plane antenna requires a ground plane, okay? It requires a certain amount of metal under the antenna to reflect the signal. Now, rule of thumb is 18 inches circumference around it. Now you're going to say, why is it so far back? Because I don't have 18 inches here if anybody's thinking about it. Yeah, I don't. You know what? I wanted it there. And it's still got a, a decent ground plane. I mean, you can break the rule. But in general, you want 18 inches around it. Now, if I didn't have a metal roof, if I had a plastic roof, or I had a mounting it on a tube somewhere or something, I'd want a no ground plane antenna. But for this application, the standard ground plane antenna is the best. Now we're going to show you an application that uses a no ground plane antenna. Okay, we're going to show you an application now that uses a no ground plane antenna. A little windy out here, but I wanted to get this done to show you guys. So why don't you come up here and I'll show you the no ground plane antenna. So here, here we have a 2018 Ford Raptor. Uh, it's actually using one of our motorized antenna mounts. The antenna is outside the roof here. It is really nowhere to mount it. It's got the glass roof. So since the antenna is here and there's nothing under it to reflect the signal, we're using a no ground plane antenna. Works great. Always better to use a ground plane antenna. But in this case, with nothing underneath it, got to use a no ground plane. Now I'll show you one more over here. This is a ground plane antenna, just like on the, on the Can-Am Maverick we showed you. This is our, one of our chase trucks here, and up there, that is a ground plane antenna. It's mounted with 18 inches around it, and it's got great reflectivity for the signal. And I'll tell you right now, this radio works better than any, any of the ones in any of our vehicles, just because it's, you know, the correct antenna on the correct vehicle. Now, also important, tuning the antenna. Antennas have to be cut. You can't just buy an antenna, and the longer the better, some people think, or things like that, no. The top rod is cut to your frequency. We can do that here if you buy an antenna from us, or you could do it. It's very simple. You cut it with a bolt cutter or a grinder. And that's it. That's the best things you could do to keep your transmission distance the best. 